Hi, this is Photon, and I'm doing something silly. And this is the profile, a maxed out profile, and I'm going to try to run Workbench 1.3 in at 42 megahertz. So uh, I just have a blank uh, PC formatted CF card in the spare slot, nothing in the boot card slot, and I'm going to launch this profile. I have nothing in the floppy drive yet. So it should boot from uh, the auxiliary card. And since I used uh, the Kickstart 1.3, it tells me 1.3. So Workbench 1.3 is different from the later Kickstarts. I'm sorry, later Workbenches, in that there's no install disk, really. Uh, all you do is copy all the files over from the two disks and you're done. Uh, so to do this you have to use the copy command on the floppy disk because unlike later kickstarts uh, the kickstart doesn't have a few uh, DOS commands built in. And this all keyword will copy all the files and folders recursively. And now I can tell you a little more about this um, idea. Um, on um, a normal uh, Amiga 500 from the old days, uh, to get a hard disk, first of all, you'd get a hard disk interface. And to run it faster than uh, the 7 megahertz, you had to have an accelerator. Normally this was built into the sidecar expansion or you would have something that you plugged into the um, CPU slot. Thing is, um, it did not always work with everything, because um, the accelerator had to be compatible with uh, 1.3, and all the drivers had to be compatible as well. All the drivers in 1.3 had to be compatible with uh, what the accelerator wanted. So this goes pretty quick, so we'll soon be ready to insert disk 2. And then after a reboot we should be able to just boot normally, just like we did before from the uh, CF card. Let's straight into Workbench. So let's see how that goes. Now, I swapped out the disk, and the extras disk does not have a copy command on it. And as I said before, there are no commands built into the, into the Kickstart 1.3. So, I have a copy of the copy command <laughs> on the CF card. So, C of ox, C copy, D of zero, C of ox, all. Should do the trick. And as you can see, the default um, text mode is 60 columns uh, when there is no uh, system configuration uh, uh, read by the system. Uh, but this will be corrected when we reboot. So anyway, um, uh, with the traditional sidecar interfaces for Amiga 500, you could get into a bit of trouble if you try to run it faster than 7 megahertz. So this basically just shows how you could have a complete 1.3 installation in the spare slot and then just um, if you have a kick 3.1 enabled by default when you boot your Amiga you can just use the holding both mouse buttons and select which card you wanted to boot to. Of course you'd have to s switch to 1.3 so might, might not you, you might have to um, pull out one of the cards to force it to boot the 1.3 but point is you could have two workbenches in each of the card slots on the ACA 500 plus. Why would you need that? You wouldn't really need that but um, 
sometimes you like to run incompatible software with the authentic 1.3 kickstart without having to uh, run them from floppy all the time so that's the main reason I guess you could have a big old archive of demos mainly um, and old nostalgic workbench software that you could run at whim. So all it should take is a reboot and we should be in workbench. So anyway, if you wanted to run 1.3 at a faster speed, um, it wouldn't be as simple as this. So here's what we have. So I'm looking for the my files folder. There it is. I'm gonna run sysinfo. Run a speed test. And uh, I was able to overclock my AC500 plus to 42 megahertz. I don't think it's that uncommon uncommon that you can max out the frequency. Uh, but this performance is not very nice, is it? Or is it? Yeah, it's, it's actually very good. Very good. I was I was a bit miffed by this. It says forty three point ten megahertz, so I have an an extra high quality SA five hundred plus, or possibly Sysinfo could give. Um, slightly, slightly inaccurate results on 1.3. Who knows? So let's uh, check uh, the CF Arcs drive for speed and see how high we get. Yeah, 4 megabyte per second. That's all right, I think. So that's pretty much it um, for sport. We can run the Boeing demo, I, I suppose. But anyway, from here you just uh, hot swap, eject, and pull out the card, put it into your PC or whatever, copy copy whatever files over that you want, and you have a work, working uh, workbench 1.3 running at 42 megahertz. Pretty swish and pretty easy. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.